I got kind of a game dev tycoon itch after playing Pro Gamer Manager, so I thought I'd... Well, I, I considered doing Game Dev Tycoon again, because I had done it once upon a time. Uh, that was a very long time ago, though. And I thought about rebooting it, but then I saw Mad Games Tycoon and remembered that that had been recommended to me a while ago, so I thought I'd give it a give it a look-see. I've seen not really much of anything of this game, just a few screenshots and stuff like that, just to see kind of sort of what it was like, and it seems to be kind of what I expect it to be. It is still in development, and it is being updated still by the developers, so that's quite exciting. Always nice to see a game that's actively being worked on by developers, especially since this has actually been around for quite a good while. As I said, I don't really know too much about this game, so I will be going through the tutorial. If you are familiar with this game and don't feel like sitting around for the tutorial, then feel free to skip this episode because episode 2, I should be hopefully probably done with the tutorial. I can't imagine it taking too long. I'm generally somewhat good at learning a new game. Player name, we'll go with uh, Craig Dudeski, of course. Company name. Uh. Well, in Game Dev Tycoon, I was Jormungandr Games, and that was quite fun. I'd like to do that again. I need to need to remember how to do the umlaut, though. There we are. Jormungandr Games, although, random company name. Uh, let's just. I think I still have that copied. Uh, let's see what some of these are D Square Studios, Zipper Interactive, Data Hard. Fat Whale Productions, Jesus, Invocom, Respawn Games, Tailwoods, Firebird. Interesting. Okay, cool, that did copyright. Good. Yermangander Games. And hopefully we can upload a logo. We'll see if they got something that actually kind of sort of fits. But oh my god, references. So many references. And then just some generic logos here. I got quite a lot. Oh, snake! Perfect. <laughs> Jormungandr Games. Ah, oh, that's that's perfect. I like it. Choose country. Probably America, because Krug Dudski very much American. Is this first person shooter? Oh, sales bonus, 5 okay, they all have 5% sales bonus to this specific genre, it seems. Sports, Ecosim, Strat, Adventure, okay. Well, I mean, Jormungandr Games, I suppose Sweden, it'd be somewhere Norwegian, but... Fuck it, we'll go with, uh... Eh, we'll go with we'll go with USA. Why not? Their thing is first person shooters, so maybe a maybe I'll do that. I don't know, probably not though. Mail, sure. Game settings. Do enable tutorial, okay. That'll well. Let's enable that. Random platform popularity. We'll do that. That should be okay, because it always annoyed me in Game Dev Tycoon how you'd have the um, the platforms would actually make sense to the real life counterparts, and it was a bit annoying to me because that meant that every single time it's like, ooh, Game Boy's out quick, do a you know uh, a Game Boy this type of game for that audience, and it'll be a great success every time. With random platform popularity, that might make it a little more interesting. Random genre combinations is tempting as well, but I don't know exactly what that's going to do. I don't know. We'll leave that unchecked, I think. And okay. Oh, there's more. <laughs> I thought that was it. This is special features. There's a lot of special features. Would it be completely broken if I did support 4K resolution as my specialty? Like, would that mean that I could do 4K right from the get-go, or just when 4K is finally available, I'll be able to really shine? I'd hope the latter. Given I'll probably be doing like RPG games and stuff like that. There we go, adaptive AI. Ooh, realistic physics, ooh. Ooh. Ah. Uh, oh, 
indestructible. Ooh, adaptive AI. We'll go with that. Special genre, RPG. What else do we got though? If this is anything like Game Dev Tycoon, then uh, the random genre thing would be like, oh yeah, sports and like, I don't know, ninjas would go really well together or something like that. Like, I'm afraid of it being something just completely off the wall like that. We'll go RPG. That'll be fine. What was this? Oh, nothing. Okay, I thought that was a thing I could click on. Focus a bit in music and uh, music and sound. That'll be fine. Office work. Not sure what you mean by that. Speed. Sure. Work will. Sure. Why not? Go with a little bit of graphics and then... Ooh. Oh, I see. Uh... There. Cool. And standard speed. 1980. Oh, God. All these menus. It's like sitting at a diner and they're telling you like what you want to eat. And it's just like, I just want a sandwich. And they're asking you like what cheese and bread and shit you want. It doesn't matter. We'll go normal, I think. Considering hard, but let's see what the tutorial's like here. Again, if you are familiar with this game, uh, feel free to just skip over this if you'd like. I don't really know how long it'll be. Blah, 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 blah. Move the camera, right mouse button. Whoa, that's a bit tricky. Okay. Wow, that's... That doesn't run very well at all. Okay, odd. I closed the tutorial to try to get to the uh, the options because I, I couldn't get to the options without uh, without closing that. It's, it's one of those restrictive tutorials. Um, but now it's running much better. So... We're going to quickly restart. We're going to quickly restart and then just put up with the frame rate, I guess. Well, now it's kind of okay even with it. I don't know. I don't know. In development game. <laughs> it's hard telling. Not only that, but it's also Unity. Who knows? Click that button. Cool. We're building a development room. Mm-hmm. Click and drag. Can I have it like just a part of this room? Oh, pretty painless. And then furniture. Mm hmm. The desk. Uh huh. She's the cheapest desk. Uh huh. Rotate with middle mouse. Okay. Then I don't want to build another one, so close. Got it. Close out of that menu. Close out of that menu. I'm following. Search for player, left click. And drag him into the office. Oh. So he's assigned to there. Cool. He's not doing any. Oh, we're paused. Okay. Button. Develop a game. Got it. Marlowe Party Hangover. Absolutely. That sounds fantastic. We'll go with that. It is a retail game. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. I thought that was like genre. The genre is retail. <gasps> oh. <laughs> and yep, the small thing. Got it. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Target audience. Yep. It's for old folks. Marlowe Party Hangover. It's a game for old people. There we go. Select the topic. Industrialization, planets, or treasure hunters. Uh-huh. Planets. Hunting for treasure on planets. Okay, let's not make it for seniors. Let's go for teens. There we go. Let's actually make it somewhat interesting to <laughs> that. The main genre. I guess arcade? Well, you're hunting for treasure. I mean... I guess puzzle. And no mention, because that's all that's available. And these are locked for later. Okay. Cool. That and personal computer. Got it. What, uh... What was this? Triple A? Oh, max game size. Mm-hmm. 
cost 5,000. Which we've got. We have a lot of money, actually. Jeez. Market share 25%. Where's everybody else? They just don't have anything. And this is what you focus on and all that. Okay. Help you determine appropriate settings. Wait. Oh, okay. The more I do it, the more I learn. Ah, that's nice. Because Game Dev Tycoon, I was running into the issue where I forgot. And there's no entries for any of that because it's our first one. So, yeah. Focus on gameplay, not so much graphics. The focus on uh, the story. The atmosphere is very important. It's slightly beginner friendly. And it's more for a casual gamer. Breathtaking atmosphere. Oh, man. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Got it. Um, major focus on gameplay. I can only go 50%. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Is there any reason to not do every... Oh, development cost greatly increases. I got it, so we'll go English. Sure. And then the functions. Features. I have no engines, so I can only select a few features. Five, yep. Uh, I can buy an engine at the head office. Of course, I can also just make my own. Okay. Well, those are the only choices, so... Yep, we'll, we'll do those. Bank. Oh, okay. Just in case I uh, need a quick bit of money, but we can definitely afford this. I mean, honestly, we could probably uh, probably just go all languages, just fucking all in. And we start working automatically. Can adjust the game speed with these buttons down here. I assume one, two, and three control that. Actually, yeah, one is paused though. Okay. A couple bugs going on. Whole lot of stuff going on, actually. Jesus. Oh. Ah, and it's done. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Game's being completed. You can publish your game and improve it, but to improve it, I need special offices like a sound studio or quality assurance. Okay. Got it. Marlowe Party Hangover. Is that what I made? God. I can move the release date and bring to market on time at a later time. Yeah, we'll, we'll publish it now, I guess. That's what it wants me to do. There's a few bugs with it, though. Test copies have already been sent to all gaming magazines. Oh, God. Would you like to produce the game myself or contract with the publisher? Apparently, we're finding a publisher. Later in the game, production warehouse rooms are available. You can produce and distribute your own games. Okay, so for now, yeah, find publisher. Because we can't do it ourselves. We can either go with Semco, Roar, or T2. They're all kind of crappy. Except, uh... It's a puzzle game. Okay, cool. Thank God it tells me that. Because <laughs> I, I forgot what I went with. I guess we'll go with the Roar. The fan base matches. Different characteristics, mark strength, favorite genre. Yep, that's fine. We'll go with that. If my employees develop games, they get experience. Can also build training rooms to train them faster. Go get to continue. So we're plus one and all that. They're very cool. Market analysis shows how many games with genre and topic are currently on the market. If too many games are on the market, sales figures are lower. Click OK. We're all by ourselves because it's the very beginning. Oh. Of course, every game is tested by the press. Don't worry if the writing's bad. Over time, games will get better. The graphics look really good. There isn't much to complain about. The sound is below average. Hopefully, they'll do better next time. The controls are just a little too complicated. However, the game is playable. The gameplay is extremely boring. They need to do much better. A really bad game avoided at all costs. 28% overall. 
that's fine. The praise was for the graphics. Okay, well done. First game is released. Understand the basics and have fun. Oh, that was actually really quick. Oh. They like it to be more lengthy? Alright. Well, hold on. Slow shit down. So that's what's going on. We're losing a lot of money. Like, oh my god, we're losing so much money. Support development. Oh god, what am I doing? Oh, okay, close that. The tutorial wasn't that great. Oh god. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do... Squash some bugs on Mario Party Hangover. Remove all of them. 500 bucks. Okay, there we go. Nobody was really complaining about the bugs, but oh well. Game developers legends plus 200% chance of legendary employees. Whoa. Okay, so just events happened. Well, I guess if I want to hire somebody, now's, now's the time, huh? Four color support, video game console. Jesus. Okay, hold on. Hire and fire staff. Hire staff. Are there any legendaries going on? I assume they'd be just like completely ridiculous for ex um, for cost. Looks like no, they're all zero stars. Minimum quality of the office. That might just mean I can hire all of them. Man, that tutorial didn't help me at all. All right, we'll uh, we'll forego doing that for now. We'll work on the bugs, and then we'll see about making a second game. And probably not dumping all of our money into making it a, uh, <laughs> a worldwide thing. There we go. It's done. Bug squashed. Excellent. Close that. Contract work. Ah, okay, cool. Just basic stuff. Eight weeks to make some music. Nine weeks for that. 186 workload, this seems pretty easy. It's sorted by workload by default. Okay, we'll try this one. A user interface. Would you really like to accept it? Yeah, sure. Why not? I can't tell if that sounds going to get annoying or not. Ugh. So let's figure sure this game are getting worse, therefore we've taken it off the market. Ugh. Damn it, Roar. You assholes. We sold a thousand units. Ugh. We lost a lot of money. That was a pretty trashy game. Oh, game list. Got it. Ugh. New research. Genre. I want to do that. How does one research? Fifteen thousand. Okay. Yeah, is that is that like not big at all? Anything in particular that I need? Just a really basic desk. Oh, I don't know, man. If this is painful to watch, I apologize. I will get better. I usually do, I swear. Sometimes. Okay, so let's move you into here then. You're doing research. Research genre, the RPG genre. Oh my god, that's expensive. Are you are you kidding me? 50,000? Okay, maybe not. Don't uh, don't do that. Let's work on another contract work. What's game development contracts like? 24 weeks to do it. 47% minimal game review. Oh, I see. 
big money though, like really big money, but the uh, the minimum there is... Uh, okay, maybe we'll just do a, a standard contract work. We were able to put out... how many work points was that? I missed it before. I think we need at least 20,000. 17 weeks to write a story, I think we can manage. What was the workload? 174. Okay, just so I can get kind of a ballpark figure in my head for that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think that will get annoying, but I think I can also change it. Yeah, beautiful. Thanks developers for allowing me to like isolate sounds to remove. That's a really cool thing. Yeah, we nailed that. That's no problem. We did that quick as hell. Let's do another contract work real quick. Let's get ourselves up to about 30,000 or so. So we'll do the uh, music composition. We're pretty good at music, I think. Yeah, music and sound, that's what we excel at. Yeah, that's definitely. And we'll put out a quick game, just like really basic language though. Northwood Studios released the game Land of Secrets. Oh. Can I get info on that though? Plumber arcade games are uh, trending. I see. <laughs> Triple fine. Okay. Uh, gameplay settings, NPC release game messages. Got it. Nailed it. Cause I can't. Okay, I can kind of, oh, okay. I can see more than I thought. Wow, that game, that game really kicked ass. It got an award, a fun award. <laughs> Congrats on making a fun game, losers. Agent 1000 is just annihilating. What is this? It's an arcade game with really great graphics. Genre in the trend, sounds, graphic. Okay, wow, well done. Okay, well, we've got uh, we got a little bit of money to make a game. So let's go for... Unwild Arms. Ha <laughs> Wild Arms. Yeah, Unwild Arms. Sure, why not? Retail, yep. Uh, if you've got some cool game names or anything like that, do feel free to leave a comment, let me know. Because I'm very unimaginative when it comes to that kind of thing. A B game, that's fine. A retail, that's fine. Target audience. We'll go teens. So let's go adults. Treasure hunters. Planets, one star each. What was trending? Arcade and plumber. I don't know anything about plumber. Let's try industrialization. And do I need a subtopic? I don't think I'd need a subtopic. It'll just be a straight up industrialization game. And it'll be arcade. We'll give that a go. Without engine, that's fine. An industrialization arcade game. Oof. For the personal computer. So we don't know very much about this. Let's just mark that as important just to see. They would have liked it to be lengthier, right? So if I'm making something like that, we'd be going for more game length. I don't think I've done enough to really know much. So they would like it to be lengthier? Okay, we'll just leave that at basic. Make it a little more gamer friendly, or beginner friendly rather. 
more for a casual gamer, that's probably fine there. Make it a little more functional. Okay, I, I think that might be okay. Just the one language. I see. It's like 5k per ish. Ugh. Ugh. We'll go for that. The Freeze Scape engine is available. God, so much is coming out right now, it's insane. I can't research it, I spent way too much money. <laughs> we need this to be a success so we can hire somebody uh, and they can either just pump out contract work while we work on other stuff or I can't afford any booth. Um, either hire somebody and they just pump out contracts or pump out research. But for research, we need money. Uh, we need more money anyway. I'd like to research RPG and get that going. So we'll be really knowledgeable on the genre so we really know what people want. And there's Unwild Arms. I mean, let's continue working on it. I don't think we can really do much with it. So yeah, publish it. Find a publisher. Ooh, we got a couple more now. That was the uh, arcade game. So find us an arcade puzzle base or fan base, which there are none. So I could just wait on it and see. We'll go with Roar. We have a relationship with them. Keep that going, got experience for all that, that's cool. There is one game in the same genre. I can now buy dev kits to develop games for other platforms. Two platforms now available, so it's for uh, multiple platforms. Okay. Graphics are okay, they like to see better. Sounds okay, now what you complain about is very blah. The game's in trend, which is nice. Gameplay is extremely boring. It's a train wreck. Man. Alright. Well then. Do some contract work while we wait. I was hoping it'd be a little nicer. Is this a porting project? I don't even know what that would be considered. I'm imagining it's a software ink type thing, like your skill influences sort of how well you do on the contract. I don't know. Marketing campaign for it. Hell yeah. Get that spread around. Wow, there we go. That helped a lot. Ugh, no, I'm sorry. Another contract work real quick. We'll go for that, get that out of the way. That'll be all the contract that we've got. And then we can see about doing another game. It's doing okay, we've almost made our money back. There's a little bit of hype in it. It's, uh, it's... Ooh, seventh week, it immediately dropped off. They're gonna take it off the market, aren't they? Eight weeks, it lasted a week longer than the other game. <laughs> so there's that. Let's, uh... Research RPG. I'd like to get that going. This is figures getting worse. Yeah, less than nine weeks. We sold 3,402 units. We almost made money on it. <laughs> almost.
What's our research speed like? Do we even really have any? We're only getting like plus one, plus two there. I don't know if there's much I can really do for that. We could, um, get rid of that and get a better desk in there. 5,700 for a two-star desk. 5,720 for that one. 5,750 for that one. It's the best desk we can get. I don't think it does much better than this guy, though. It's the th plus three for uh, working speed. So where are these? So we'll just go with that, I think. Oh man, that is fancy. Look at that, it almost doesn't fit in the office. Jesus. All right, there's all of our money. <laughs> Making the best decisions.